Welcome back. So yesterday was the start of Women's Month, and so we'd like to celebrate some of South Africa's leading women in business, science and politics, the arts, and of course so much more. But today we start with the law. The portrayal of justice as a female figure dates back to ancient times, with Lady Justice really symbolizing the moral force of the judicial system. But while the scales have over time been associated with gender impartiality, Women continue to lead the fight for social justice. Now, one such person is our former public protector, Professor Tulima Donsela. Prof, a good morning to you. Thank you so much for your time. Always a pleasure. Now, the pandemic has made uh, the lack of socioeconomic equality so much more evident in South Africa. What do you, just as a starting point, what do you think is needed for women to really enjoy the same um, financial freedom? I think that's a good place to start to some of our male counterparts. Thank you for the privilege, Naledi, and also thank you for remembering to celebrate Women's Month and give us an opportunity to reflect on where we are and where we need to go. For women to do better in terms of financial inclusion and socioeconomic inclusion, we need to do better when it comes to addressing the accumulated social and economic imbalances between men and women. In the past, we used to think that it should be to men their rights and nothing more, and to women their rights and nothing less. That doesn't work. It only works when you are on a level playing field. When you're not on a level playing field because women, if I were to use the metaphor of a pink team, they're the pink team that was pulled away from the playing field, from the monopoly game, and the stuff taken away and given to men. If you now want equality, you need a reset that includes some restitutive measures that bring women a little bit forward so that they can be at the same level as men. And this has been done to a certain extent, but I think part of the problem is, as um, Kimberly Crenshaw once said, we tend to see women as a monolithic group mm -hmm. and black people as a monolithic group. Therefore, black women, women with disabilities, women um, who are excluded because of nationality, women in the LGBTQI community, children and older women, they get left behind if we just think about women as women instead of looking at women from a lens that takes into account intersectionalities. Yeah, you know, um, we can't talk about the struggles of women in South Africa, unfortunately, and leave the conversation of gender-based violence out of that conversation. This is our sad reality, and it continues to ravage our society. And yet, from a justice and access to justice point of view, we're doing dismally. Perpetrators are still walking free, even though we have wonderful legislation that is written sitting before Parliament. What are we doing wrong? We're doing many things wrong. We're doing a few right. The very fact that society now knows that gender-based violence is wrong is a huge victory because in the past the law was saying as long as you beat women a woman in such a way that uh, she doesn't bleed that's okay the rule of thumb so today we know that gender-based violence is wrong we know that rape is wrong even if it's rape in marriage and uh, somebody can be arrested and i think we need then to do certain things one is to rewire the people that implement the justice system from the policemen to the judges, for them to believe women, but secondly, for them to take GBV seriously. Some do, as we've seen in cases such as Chapman and various cases decided by the Constitutional Court, but you need to systematize it because we come from a society where women had to behave in order to be treated properly. If they were not treating, behaving properly, it seemed justified that they should be beaten up. And we just come from a society that thought that even beating up children was okay if they needed to be straightened out. So we need to rewire society. Secondly, we need to stop putting all of our baskets in the legal system. Yeah. The legal system operates within a societal system. Um, now, lady, you'll agree with me that a man who chops his wife and children 
and, and everyone in the family is not a person who's right upstairs. Mm. So we need to also look at what is the role of mental health in all of this. And then thirdly, in a country like South Africa where black people were also left behind, we also need to look at how do we strike a balance between advancing women and advancing whole villages. Because I do think that girls and women are experiencing a backlash. People who feel left behind think they were entitled to certain opportunities and those opportunities have been given to men. And therefore we need to make sure that we have that conversation and people understand that remedying an injustice is not unjust. Yeah, I do appreciate that you've given us all a role to play, that we all have some sort of responsibility in, in getting to a decent level of gender-based, uh, or rather, gender equality in the country. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Former public protector, Professor Tuli Madonsela, speaking to us there.